I know you all love naming my animals, like my fish and also the turtles that I have in my big pond, but I need you guys to go down below and name this little Sulcutta tortoise that I just got. Make sure it's a unisex name too because we're not 100% sure if it is a female or a male. I don't think you're able to tell when they're this small. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a super cool one. We actually got a new pet. I've never had one of these before. I had turtles before, but I've never had a tortoise. Today, I finally got a tortoise, which is something I've been really looking forward to in the past few months. And here he is right here. We got a little baby one, probably three inches long. That's about it, and then two inches across maybe. Paid $100 for him, and we got a whole bunch of new stuff to set up the aquarium for him. But I'm gonna throw you guys back one second to win we got the little tortoise. Oh so we had a little inconvenience on the way back to the house. Reese, do you, you want to tell him what happened to yourself? I, um, well, the tortoise, I had to hold him because in the box he was sliding around a lot and he just went poop all over my hand. So, yeah, it was a clean. It's, it's clean now, though. We're good. Yeah, Reese had a little inconvenience on the way back to the house. But it is all good now. I'll throw that clip in right now for you guys to see that. Awesome. Stay. Hey, Reese. I actually can't find a turtle. Aw, look at him. I found him. He was just sitting right next to the tank. I had him on top of here, but then he just cruised over there. Reese, my, my filmer, what are you doing, dude? all just unnecessary stuff they really need to see that we're, we're supposed to be filming a video right now dude what, what's the problem Luke? I'm just all right so we got a little 10 gallon tank that my previous flower horn was in that Reese actually has a lot of you guys were commenting on my previous video letting me know that my flower horn was gone and it's probably dead you want to meet him you want to meet him yes yeah, say hello and by the way, everybody, if I didn't say it just now, Reese has my flower horn. We have our little tortoise right here. We need you guys to go name this little tortoise down below. Whatever comment gets the most likes, that is going to be his name. And the flower horn in that tank, the 20 gallon, I got a new tank for him, by the way. His name is actually Clickbait. We couldn't get like a real name. Like an actual name for a fish, not just clickbait. I mean, I guess it's gonna have to do, this fish's name is gonna have to be clickbait. I literally made a shirt for him. Instead of having Luke D underneath it, I think I might have to put clickbait underneath it, right? Is that how it goes or no? I guess, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but we gotta set this little guy down right now. We're gonna start setting up his aquarium. Actually, his enclosure since it's not a fish. It's weird, I've never, actually had to say that before. So I finally figured out how to open up the bag. I had to go back to third grade like Mr. Beast. But we're just gonna pour some of this in here, spread it out. This is actually rabbit food. The lady told me this is good for them because they could eat it at the bottom instead of having regular mulch or something at the bottom of the enclosure. And if he did have that, if he ate it, it wouldn't be too good to have to bring him to the vet. But this stuff he can eat if he gets really hungry, even though I'm gonna have to feed him romaine lettuce with some calcium on it. So my little tortoise is actually only gonna stay in here for a, probably another four months and then we're gonna take him out and make a big enclosure for him and probably get a brother or a sister for him. I grab him, Luke. He's, he's, uh, he, he's fine. Under. He's, going, he's going under there. He wants to go under there. But for now, we're just gonna have him set up right here. We're gonna build a stand for him. So he's gonna be sitting right next to my window so there's a there's a black background over here, so he's not gonna get any light inside of his aquarium during the day, but at nighttime, I actually... What is he doing? Yeah, we got, nice decoration. We got a decoration, $12, and then <laughs> like a $60, what do you call this? It's just a heat lamp. A heat lamp? I've never heard of that before. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But we got a little heat lamp for him. It actually has a UV light bulb, which is meant for that type of tortoise because it has to get the calcium inside of his body for his bones to be stronger. All right, we're done with that. Get a little cactus here, a little cacti. 
We're just gonna set this up right here. The lady told me that he should be sitting right next to it during the day and at the nighttime, so he thinks he's hiding and blending in. The next thing we gotta <laughs> do is actually get the tortoise, put him in here, put the top on there too. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh! Oh, he's way over He's got there. dust on him. He's got dust on his little foot back here. Look at him, how adorable. What a cute little tortoise. He's going into his new aquarium right now. Put this top over here. He already took off. Yeah, he's gonna be chilling back there. I'm gonna move it a little bit, actually. And now a lot of people like having cover to where they can go underneath it, but they don't technically need that. They only have it for safety purposes. And in here, he doesn't need any safety because this is gonna be over the top of it. My dogs won't be able to get in it. We need to like actually put the light bulbs in here for it to work, right? <laughs> All right, but by the way, if you guys don't know, whenever Reese films my videos, I buy him lunch and also dinner, so I'm not taking advantage of him. I'm actually, he's probably taking advantage of me getting free food. No, no. You're getting free food. But do you know how hard it is to hold this thing? How hard it is to hold the camera? <laughs> yeah. I finally got it set up to where I can put the light on. There we go. There's my little tortoise. I was doing my research and they told me to keep the light on only during the day because this is actually a tortoise that is usually in the desert it kind of gets cold at nighttime in the desert anyways so this little guy is fine with it getting a little bit more chilly at the nighttime it only probably gets 72 to 71 inside of my room so he's fine in here we got the mini tortoise inside of his aquarium and this is where he's going to be staying for probably the next six months just inside of this 10 gallon tank and then we're going to build a big enclosure and like I said before, have another one of his friends come into it also. I really wanted to get another one today, but I didn't want to spend $200 and have to get something else bigger. So I'm going to just have him in here for the 10 gallon tank. All right, everybody. So since you guys see me setting up the tank and everything for him and actually getting the tortoise, I'm going to come back out here tomorrow and show you him eating if he does. But if not, I'm still going to show you guys tomorrow. So let me cut to the chase. So it is the next day now and I am ready to feed the tortoise but I wanted to show you guys something before I forget about it about my flower horn. I had a lot of comments telling me that his hump was deflated, he wasn't going to make it and he had a disease. But that isn't the case, it was just stress. Now he's perfectly fine, super happy. His hump came back to life, you could see it. It's perfectly round now and he's pretty aggressive. He's a nice flower horn. I love him. I definitely think that he was worth $110. Some of you guys may not agree with me, but I definitely believe it. He has so much personality and it is such a nice fish to have inside of the 20 gallon tank because remember, I get roasted for having him in the 10 gallon tank, which was temporary. So here we go. I'm gonna feed him the pellets. Really nice fish right there. Perfect size flower horn for this 20 gallon. And once he gets too big, I am going to make a huge cube aquarium for him because you're supposed to grow the aquariums as you grow the fish. And he's a pretty decent sized flower horn, so that's why he's in the 20 gallon. But after that, I'm probably gonna put him into a 50 to 60 gallon cube aquarium where he's gonna stay for probably the rest of his life. Here are my little tortoises. I got some romaine lettuce. I was told just to feed him once a week with the calcium. So today I'm just going to feed him just straight up lettuce. I'm probably going to do it every Thursday where I feed him some calcium. But let me see if he's actually going to eat this. I'll probably put it back in his aquarium if I do see him starting to eat. I was told not to worry about it if he doesn't eat the first day inside of the aquarium. So I'm probably just going to keep the romaine lettuce inside of the tank for him for a little bit longer and if he doesn't eat it then I'm gonna take it out but if he does start eating it I will definitely show you guys Here we go, 
back into his mini home. Oh, sorry, buddy. So my little tortoise obviously does not want to eat right now. I probably left him in there for 20 minutes. I was watching videos on Sakura tortoises and it seems as if a lot of people take their tortoise and put it into a different place when they're feeding them. So I'm gonna try that in a little bit. Once again, I brought him outside just to let him walk around and have a little bit of free roaming for probably 20 to 30 minutes while I just sat on my phone and watched him. But he's doing good inside of the 10 gallon tank. This is pretty much where I'm gonna end off the video. So say goodbye. We need a name for him too. We really need a name for the little tortoise back there. I'm not exactly sure if it is a female or a male. I don't think we're able to tell at this point. So I'm gonna need everybody to comment down below a name that is unisex or female or male that sounds kind of similar. That would work well if it can be a female or a male. Like I said, a unisex name. But this is where I'm gonna end off the video. I wanna thank all of you guys for watching. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure to go down below, hit the subscribe button, put the post notifications on and leave a fat thumbs up down below also. That would be much appreciated by me and by my whole entire channel because my last video, but I will see you all in my next video. Peace out, see you guys later.